is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back with another episode of scare actor appreciation month in november today i was blown away when we got him we got merrick here this guy if you've not seen him work at the event you're missing out you're missing out <laughs> because this guy goes hard this guy is one of the greatest he plays one of the greatest crazy characters i've ever seen at any haunt ever um him and hostel together it's just you're in for a treat if you see them together. Let's yeah, just say that. Yes. Uh, Merrick, how you doing, man? I'm good, buddy. Yeah. Recovering, but uh, good. Good? You know? yeah. that's, that's all that matters, man. As yeah, long as yeah. you're getting recovered, hopefully resting up for the next season. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And just enjoying life. I'm hoping after. Just Absolutely. a nice, nice, nice little vacation after. Huh, yeah. Huh? Nice, yeah. Nice little break. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so for those who don't know you, Merrick, um, would, you, would, you tell a little bit, uh, would you tell us a little bit about like, your character and like how that came to be? Um, so Merrick came to be pretty much, um, out of, out of boredom. Um, (laughs) um, it was, um, um, well, I started in Ghost Town in 2011. Okay. It's a very generic cowboy kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, so I, you know, know, just ran, went around, scared people and all that. They didn't really have a character. It's just. Going around doing whatever, being the cowboy. Yeah, being the cowboy yeah. and ghost town. Oh, had the thunder jug, but didn't have any kind of character. So, yeah. um, and then um, you know, it took me a little while and go in 2011 to get into a groove because you're a rookie. You mm-hmm. don't know what you're doing out there. So, like, it takes a, little, a couple weeks. Um, so, and then I finally got into somewhat of a groove 2011, mm-hmm. 2012. Um, did the same thing, same thing, and um, and by the end of 2012, I was like, I need to put something more into this. I need something a little bit more. So I was like, all right, that's cool. 2013 comes along, and I was like, all right, let's think about this and get it out there. So on uh, the very first, the very first weekend on a slow night it was sunday it was sunday very slow night um i was just walking around no one around and i was kind of looking at my hand kind of thing you know you know looking at the hand like and it was like moving like this moving my hand around and i started pointing in directions of you know where I'm going, so like I'm, you know, this way, go that way, and this way, go that way, Definitely. and started talking to us. Why? Started talking to him, kind mm-hmm. of thing. Why are you going this way? I don't know. Why are you going this way? It's over here. What bring? What is bringing you this way? Something's pulling you over that way, right? Yeah. And um, so it just, and that kind of snowballed into a uh, fun drug with me. Put Talk, together Frankenstein and something. Yeah. yeah, it started. It started building. Definitely. Talking about Thunder Joke, and it's lit, just kept evolving from there. This snowballed into into the whole backstory, into everything, and it just um, yeah, into what it is now. I think it's one of the freaking most terrifying characters out on Ghost Town. When you have someone like Merrick come up to you, start slow. It usually starts with like a whisper to you. And then it'll end up him starting to yell at you, and then the shake of the jug, and then walks away. And at that point, you're just kind of looking at yourself and looking everywhere like, what just happened? <laughs> I was fortunate enough to uh, experience this the final night of Haunt. Um, he came up to me. I yelled over at him. I'm like, let the voices in. And he stopped in his tracks, looked, dead, looked me dead in the eye, came up and started yelling at me. When you're in that character, do you do you kind of have a, a like a, a a list of things that you're gonna say, or is it just all made up on the spot? It's everything's on the spot. Nothing's ever planned. It's right in the moment, right then and there, and whatever comes to mind, it comes to mind. That is insane. That's some yeah. great improvisation skills right yeah. there. Um, I want to know a little bit about. Because I've heard different stories about your your uh, your can, your gas can mm-hmm. now. Now I've heard stories that like to tie into the lore of your character, it's supposed to be like your brother or someone that's in the can, and you're talking to them. Or I don't know if that's true or not. There is a a spirit in there. Okay, it's 
it can be there is an entity in there there is a ghost in there it could be um people from my past mm -hmm. it could be people um you know that i'm thinking about um you know it could be any kind of spirit my brother i yeah. wouldn't say my brother too much but i would say um just people maybe from the past definitely that you know kind of that are in there and i talk to them and I, I think that's a it's a good it's a good this year too because that whole with the whole lore of the whole Sarah Marshall storyline mm -hmm. and adding that more onto the you know your character with that whole thing it, it really adds to that lore of okay this guy's talking to somebody mm -hmm. the curse of Sarah Marshall must have snapped him or did something to oh, him yeah. with that so I really think with this year's lore and the whole new storyline going forward it like fits really perfect to the character oh, yeah, which I enjoy. Right um, another one that another thing that we love watching you do is roll with hostile. <laughs> when you two are together, it's it's like the the, the <laughs> inmates run the asylum now. He and, he and I have seriously the greatest time ever. It when seems like you guys together, are having an amazing. Are, God, we we <laughs> when we're when we are running together, we, uh, it's just a uh, the energy of us two. Yeah, it's just. Uh, just insane like because we, we're both operating on just we're in the moment we don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. we have no plan we go out there and hey we're going to go mess around sorry we'll mess around we'll see what happens mm -hmm. and it's no plan no nothing go out there are you in our insanity yeah and it's literally if you ever listen to it like try to listen it's all gibberish yeah you can't really understand it but he's whispering stuff yeah you're, you're doing your thing on the floor yeah. sometimes yep it's just madness pretty much oh, yeah. it's it's oh, madness yeah. in the making which is amazing oh yeah and um i kind of came up with this this year that uh hostel is uh pretty much uh i created hostel yeah i i uh the doctor, I don't know if you know the doctor. Uh, virus. Virus. Yeah. Uh, I spiked his medication that Hostel was taking. It made him absolutely nuts. Wow. Huh. So I kind of came up with that this year. I was like, I'm going to know it works. That's, so, a, that's a good, actually, that's the, I, that's the first time we're ever even hearing that. That, that makes like the story yeah. of that even I was like, eh, better. That, that works. That sounds cool. So yeah. We had actually a funny <laughs> uh, interaction with Virus and Hostel where... Uh, you know, we were sitting at the bench by, um, in front of the candy store. Yeah. And, you know, virus comes up and starts, you know, I had my leg up and he starts, you know, chopping my leg off. Then, you know, Hostel comes out of nowhere and, you know, Virus looks at Hostel yeah. and he goes, he's the reason why you lost your eye. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, how did I get involved in this? <laughs> I was yeah. like just tripping out. Um, you utilize the gas can as a scare. Mm. Um, and I think that's, that's such, such a great scare, especially when you're doing your, you know, you're talking and then you're, you're utilizing mm. with guests as far as like, you know, you just start talking to them. Half the time, maybe most of the time, the guests are just kind of as confused as, you know, like, what what did he just say to me, you know? Right. Um, and then you hit him with the, you know, with the gas can, which I think is awesome. Um, when you started, when you started developing this, this Merrick character, um, after you said your your um your pretty much your monologues and stuff, was that always the thing just to hit him with the can to kind of finish it and then that's how you know you move on with the next Yeah, case? that that kinda of, you know, it's like a mic drop kind of thing. Definitely. And uh, you know, um you know, and certain on um, certain interactions that are um that I know I'm not gonna get scared out of a jug. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it because it, it kinda I don't know, for for me it kinda like cheapens the uh the effect of the mind trick that I'm doing. Definitely. And so, like, I, but most of the time, it's kind of like signature kind of mic drop. Yeah. Jug. The signature you know. Merrick drop. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, you had mentioned this high energy that comes between running with Hostel. How do you guys get into that place to be able to really let that madness take over? Um, well, th that really all starts with getting into character before the night starts. Um, so, like, for me, getting in the character is a really big deal. Um, it takes me at least 20 minutes to get really in that mindset. Um, and so, like, there's a whole thing I do backstage before the event starts. That, you know, kind of put in headphones, go listen to certain stuff, and um, kind of all by myself. And so getting in that mindset, um, 
he's probably doing the same thing. I don't know what he does to roll him up. I've, yeah. I've never seen it. But um, just to elevate ourselves to that level is we're just, we're on the same page. And yeah. Yeah, just kind of already there already. So, yeah, you mentioned about the listening. So, like, going, like, I, I so we talked to a lot of the people, and they said, like, usually going to the event, like, driving out there before they actually should. You have, like, a playlist you listen to of, like, metal or, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's got to be. Yeah, right. oh, yeah. It, yeah, a lot of heavy metal, a lot of, um, um, yeah, certain really cool bands like Metallica, Godsmack, nice. Tool. Um, that That's kind of, like, just get me pumped up, ready oh, yeah. to go. And there's also... Um, a lot of movie monologues from certain characters. That's, from, a, that's a new one I've heard. That's an um, interesting one. That uh, have, you know, certain, like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, um, definitely. Hannibal Lecter. Um, um, Heath Ledger's Joker. Definitely. That's a big um, inspiration for like a lot of characters like that. Jack yeah. Torrance from The Shining. Very good one, um, yeah. And a lot of... And also a lot of movie soundtrack um, scores from, like, Gladiator. Oh, if you nice. listen to, yeah. like, these epic scores that are, like, just... Building up that building, anticipation. You know, they, yeah, and yeah, just... It gets me in this mindset of just, like, going out there and being, like, the biggest badass possible. Definitely, because you, so, you go out there, man, and... You're, you're, yourself, you know, you as a person, he's staying in the back. Oh, yeah. Merrick, the minute he hits that gate. Oh, yeah. Another person takes Walk over, Walk out man. that gate, man. You're totally someone else. Yeah, you're someone yeah. else. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, yeah, and like I said, I've seen you do some, some really cool and, and sometimes funny stuff. Um, a lot of, like, the scares that you've gotten from when I, we, we would sit on the bench over in Kmart a lot. And we've seen you do a lot of stuff from, like, getting on the floor to, like, rocking yourself, <laughs> just saying monologues. Yeah. And, you know, people kind of walk by you like, what the what the hell is going on? We're over here just kind of enjoying the madness, <laughs> you know, because that's what we like to do. Yep. Uh, one of my favorite things you did recently in the last, like, uh, the last, I think, week or two of Haunt, maybe been on Halloween, was uh, you were, you got in a fight with, of course, the, um, the, the tall. Bull. Oh, the bull. Bull, yeah. 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 And. Yeah. That was really entertaining to watch. It, it really was because yeah. you you were going at it with him. He was just grunting at you, but getting in your face. He was trying to put his pitchfork at you, and you were kind of slapping it out. He was trying to take your can away. You were yep. fighting him to get it back. Yep. Um, in moments like that, does stuff just does it just happen right there? Or do you guys talk about it like let's do this tonight, or just all on the spot? All on the spot. Exactly. What you saw, it just happened right there, right then. Yeah. It, there's no plan. No. No thought put into it, just go. Yeah. You just in the moment, go. Um, but there was, I think there was a um, a moment right before that fight happened where I was um, a saloon girl, the the demon, and oh, I forgot her name, the character name. Her name is Jen. She wears the red dress. She okay. Was a demon. So yeah, throughout the season, I would um, I would possess them. And we, now we've heard a lot about that. Our, our friend uh, Jackie the She Wolf. Yeah. She yep. said that you know, like, and as well as Ruth, uh, the orphan. Yeah. She said once you do this thing where like you possess them, it's like they go into a no hold another trans, which I think is is an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to hear more about that. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, so I would do this whole thing where I want them to um, experience Merrick's insanity. I want to get them on. Uh, his level. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, prior to that little fight, I was doing that to uh, Jen. I don't like her name, but yeah. I don't know her character name. So I just we'll call her one of the saloon girls. Yes, yeah, yeah that works. Um, um, and so the bull saw this, and he's a protector of everybody. He, yeah. the bull, is pro the protector of our people. Yeah. yeah. Of our uh, of everybody, mm -hmm. so like, um, so he came and saw that and was like, no, and it was like, oh, you no, know, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so it's like Merrick, Merrick, the you know the um, the unstoppable force versus the immovable object Definitely. kind of thing. So it was like an epic like scene that just happened right there, and yeah, that kind of 
was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Another one, uh, well, this one, and, the, and now that you mentioned that, I would love to see, uh, you've probably met her, Kenzie. Kenzie hey, Crow, yeah. She's, I she's, love Kenzie. Dude, she has Kenzie, been, if you're watching this, I love you to death. You're amazing, insanely talented, and a great human being. I love you. We're going to give her a little shout-out because actually yeah. she provided us with uh, artwork from you and Hostel to use for our thumbnail for the video. Nice. To, for, to promote this, so... Kenzie, thank you so much for that. We're glad to be teaming up with you for this, this season. But um, I would love to see her draw a picture of like a kind of like one of those old style boxing fight matches where it's like you and the bull <laughs> and place your bets. You know, yeah. Merrick versus yeah. the, the bull. That'd be like something a little cool like thing to have. You that know? would be rad. Um, and we, like I said, we loved watching you just work this season. Like you and you did a lot of that, um, like that possession stuff that you were talking about. I remember Ruth was saying when, or should I say the orphan, she was saying that um, you did it to her one night and it didn't make it, for some reason in, in her character, it changed from being a little girl to being more of a demon, mm -hmm. which I think is, is really great character development that the interaction with all these characters, when they come with you, it's, it's one of those things where like people either get messed up on your level as your character or you see them covering their ears or something because they don't want to hear yeah. the, the, you know, the you possessing them, which I think was cool. Another good interaction we saw with you on, uh, on the, uh, on the farmers last night with Carly, she, uh, was, looks like she was under your control too, because you guys were having a lot of interaction and you know, you were talking to her and she was looking at the light and then she would go for that scare. And then, you know, you guys had this back and forth interaction. Um, how is it just working with when you when you get the opportunity to work with your fellow uh, coworkers and doing like that? How is it just just doing? How is it like you know working with them? Because it seems like you guys have a great time. Oh my out there. god, the, 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 the talent we have in Ghost Town is so phenomenal. Yeah, everyone's on. Everyone can bring so much to the table and has a certain level of performance value like mm -hmm. they're all they're performers like you know they're they know how to interact how to improv improv is big definitely and so like um so when we get to interact with each other it's like a uh how would i say just a just a really cool experience because we're really good at what we're doing yeah. and the inner our level of um Performance, I guess, is uh, really good. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, you know, I no, I completely understand. We've seen it all season. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to explain it to us, really, because yeah, we we love watching. I think that's a, a big thing for me. I'm a huge sucker for when it comes to interacting. Yeah. So when you go up into people and when you do your your whole your whole thing on them uh, with guests, especially, it's it's really oh yeah, it's something yeah. that when you did it to me on the final night, I'm like I've been waiting all season. <laughs> and I'm glad he did it on the final night, yeah. which was really cool. That's awesome. So, yeah. and you you had told us previously that you don't have the best memory sometimes because obviously you're in a different place yeah. when you're out there on the streets. Uh, but do you have like a favorite scare you that you've done this year? Oh wow. Um, yeah, like I said, man, um, when, you know, in the moment, it, it, when I'm so in that zone, it's really tough for me to remember everything. I remember moments. I remember, what I remember is certain moments. Definitely. Yeah. So, like, epic moments. Like, moments that, oh, God, you can't forget that ever. Yeah. So, um, one of them was, was this season where um, I get... I can, um, you know, when I'm doing the you know, monologues or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and really get in the people's heads. Um, and I was, remember this, I had this guy, he was, uh, I was just doing my thing, walking around, you know, talking to the ground, whatever, he was watching me. And, and I, you know, looked at him and just continued doing what I was doing, kind of, do, um, and I always... Um, have a story I'm talking to you know the ground the ground has I can, I can go into that too there's a whole backstory with the ground there's a whole backstory with surface I can go many different ways but I was talking to uh, the ground and talking about this you know vessel that communicates with the mind and all that and um, he was watching I look at him 
It was like, you know, the look on his face of wonder. Was like, what the hell? Yeah. And um, so I immediately look at him, turn his story into he's the reason why the ground is shifting <laughs> into this black hole. Yeah. And I, there's a whole story behind this. I'll, I, we can cut that out later. Um, um, and immediately shift the story into he's the reason this black hole is forming and I bring him in, into this story and his eyes go like wide. He's what like, what? 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 what, 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 what? <laughs> and like, and he's uh, just dead stare in the face, you know, not losing eye contact at yeah. all. And just bringing him in, he's like dry, he is getting, yeah, he was starting, uh, starting to shake mm -hmm. like a lot. Like, and I get to, oh, I'm, you're done. So like, like just going and going and building this story of, and, and he was just shaking and I just locked him in, bam, finished my story and, you know, mic drop, thumb yeah. drop, dropped to the ground. <laughs> he was done, out. <laughs> and um, he was, and it was like, you know, kind of over him, kind of like doing a, you know, a Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? Boom, 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 boom. Love that, dude. You know, like. You know, then walk off. Not hitting them, but you know what I mean. Like busting a Stone Cold. Yeah, I, I got another yeah, Stone yeah, Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love Stone Cold. One of my favorites. Yeah. Um, yeah. That. Yeah, I mean, so you were talking right now about the ground. You have different stories for little everything. Like, oh yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Um, that's awesome. So, the ground is very interesting because when you think about it, the ground is there are so many things you can do or have stories in the ground because there are so many things that happen over the ground. It's true. You know, not, not, not very far and built over, it's been here since 1920. Yeah. So many things have happened Definitely. since 1920. Yeah. Um, and so there could be ghosts in the ground, there could be stuff happen in that area mm -hmm. in the past. Or, you know, if you think about it here, like the ground, what happened here 300 years ago? Definitely. What, before this house was built. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, there, and so what, what Merrick sees is all these faces that are coming out of the ground talking to him, and he is, they, they're judging him, they're yelling at him, they're picking at him they're doing all these things and making him insane yeah and there's this one black hole right in the center wow. that he's pushing through that he sees he i he sees this black hole so he's getting through this these faces of madness talking to him and when i'm going through there it you can make up stories that I he can ramble about to himself mm -hmm. or bring you into it. Wow, yeah. And just like that. Bring it yeah. into it. So ghost of ghosts of the past, ghost of the present, ghost of ghosts of the insane, ghost of uh many different things. I yeah, yeah. and I find that really interesting because you seriously utilize everything in your environment around you and you can utilize it in your story oh, yeah especially like you can even do that for buildings like buildings like the, the history of the buildings there the buildings yeah. the skeletons on top of the hotel porch which i talk to all the time that that family up there has been yelled at so many times by Merrick, <laughs> it's insane. Too. Oh yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things was in Kmart when you would go through and you would look at the light and just start talking to the light, mm -hmm. which was um, very interesting to me. Now, I mean, much like the ground and much like the buildings, and much I'm pretty sure the light's got something. Maybe Merrick sees it different than just the light. He may see it as like a spirit. I don't know how your mindset goes with that. I mean, the light can be a window into. A different dimension at times definitely so the light can shine and it's shining on you and bring it can lift you into a different dimension or it could be judging you based on 
certain things in the past that you have done. Yeah. Either way you want to take it, it can go either way. So you can create kind of things with that. Yeah. I, yeah, because now, now I'm learning more about your character. Like, you know, you go out first time, you go to first time in Not Scary Farm, you see a character like Merrick, you're like, oh shit, he's insane. When you actually take, if you spent the time me and Sammy have, or if you're just a diehard fan and you're going every night, you actually start to pay attention to these characters. You start learning more and more. And I'm glad you were kind of sharing this with us because, like, now when I go to the event, I'm going to see the whole thing different now, and it's going to add more lore and more more interactiveness to the story because now Merrick is not just looking at a light just to look at a light. He sees it different than other people do, which I think is such an interesting thing. Um, as <clears throat> as time progressed, was it year after year? Like, after, after every year, you just kind of go, okay, I'm going to add this to this character next year, or, you know... I think I could do this to this character a little bit better this year, or I'm gonna add like scene stuff to the character. Like every year, do you is there something at the end that you can you know you want to add for next year? Um, not necessarily. No. It's more of um trying stuff on the spot. Mm -hmm. Like I never have a plan where like oh I want to do this more of I you know what the only th thing that I th I can think of that was like I want to do more of is interaction with the hostel yeah like that was like a big thing i wanted to like make happen last year and we made that happen big last year yeah and then this year we did the same thing you just build on top of it yeah because i think so. the closing weekend you guys were rolling together like crazy yeah oh and yeah you guys were i mean how is it how hard is it to keep up with a guy like hostel that guy's like he's pretty oh, fast yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you're kind of trying to do your thing at the same time while he's doing his thing um, because you two together are like the crazies of Ghost Town. Mm. You guys are pretty much, you run the, the madness of Ghost Town right now. Um, so keeping up with Hostel and, and how is it like teaming up with him when it comes down to scaring? Like usually, I know cause he is a same thing. He goes into people's faces and he mm. whispers stuff. And I've seen moments where you guys actually come together and you'll whisper people into people's ears. Oh, yeah, that's insane. Yeah. That gets crazy. That's a, a very interesting thing for the person that's in the middle of that because it's literally us going back and forth with... I'm talking about a totally different thing than what he is. So I'm talking about, you know, vessels, about uh, sanity leaving the body or whatever. And, like... He's talking, I don't know what he's talking about, really. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got his own thing. So he has his totally own, totally different thing. Yeah. And it's just going back and forth. And we, like, and but we always are in sync with it because at the very end, we, like, it's, we go, it's their levels, it goes, like, insane intense, bring it down, and then the same intensity, and then leave again and leave the person, like, what just happened? Shell yeah. shock. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've seen that a couple times where you were, one would be on one side, one would be on the other side. Yep. You guys are both whispering something. And then you guys would yell. Yep. Bring it back down again. Finish it off with like a yell or like a, a yep. shake of the yep. can or yep. hostile things when he claps. Yep. And then it's just gone. Yep. And then it leaves the guest wondering like, what, the hell, <laughs> what just happened? Yeah. The yeah. sanity behind that, what is going on? Um, and that's why I've, I've just loved watching you work love learning more about your character because I feel like just tonight I've learned so much just to get the uh, of the idea of who is Merrick. Yeah. Because I feel like Merrick's a, a huge mystery. You just, you, like I said, you go to the event for the first time, you see this guy walking around, you're just going to think, okay, crazy. But this guy, there's him. more to him than meets the eye, you know? he's mm -hmm. He sees stuff that the, the human doesn't, which, you know, it's, it, it's just a freaking fantastic character. Go into the character now. When you first came up with the idea of this character, was there something from like movies that you've seen, or is there something like you've, you you is there a lot of inspiration from like people that you've seen in like horror movies and stuff that you just Frankenstein together? Um, yeah, I would say, uh, I would say, um, I really was inspired by uh, Heath Ledger, the okay. Joker. Um, his um, um wanting to watch the world burn kind of thing mm -hmm. was like oh yeah i could build something up that um also um hannibal lecter definitely silence of the lambs you ever seen that movie it's amazing such a great movie. Yeah. um 
that kind of mindset. Yeah, because well. yeah, because Hannibal. Yeah, I like I can see it. It's, Hannibal was very smart man, but he was crazy. Yeah, he liked to he eat people. Smart and crazy. Which yeah, is amazing. And if you really yeah. think about the same thing, because yeah, I'm a huge like you, you you mentioned the Joker. I'm a huge. I love Batman. Yeah, Batman's like my yeah. my, my my favorite DC hero of all time. So when you come down to Batman, you, you everyone obviously knows Joker, one of the greatest villains of all time. People, a lot of people don't really know this, but. Joker's a genius. Oh yeah, he is a yeah. genius. Super smart. I mean, yeah, he's insane, yeah. but he's he knows what he's doing. The guy's mm-hmm. a genius. The guy knows how to plan stuff. The guy knows how to execute plans, and the guy knows what he wants. He's a yeah. genius. He's on the level of so much so in the comics as well as insane that he's almost so insane that he is almost aware that he's in a comic book. Yeah, which I think is amazing. You think that same thing kind of applies to Merrick that he almost knows that what's going on around him and oh or, yeah. yeah oh yeah he merrick is very aware of what's going on around him yeah very aware um he may not look like it but he's definitely very aware he knows he knows when to do what he do, does yeah he knows how to he's very calculated in how this is gonna go yeah um because I, uh, when you see a certain reaction, you can play into that and really get into someone's head. Definitely. And it's very calculated when you, and you have to really read people. Mm-hmm. When you're reading someone as deeply as I do, um, uh, it, it, it takes it to another level. Definitely. And um, so I can, yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, this is a little bit changing directions, um, but when did you know you wanted to become a scare actor? Oh man. Um, so when I when I first went to um, uh, Nods, the guest, uh, way back in '97 was my first year going. Um, I just went as you know regular guest and everything. wasn't a giant fan. Um, I really started. Back in college, I um, was into theater production, um, you know, lighting, sound, and acting, um, and got my, you know, degree in theater, and... Oh, and, wow, you're a theater major then. Yes. Wow, that yeah. that even brings even more better to the... Yes. That even, that's awesome, <laughs> yeah, dude, because yes. me and him, we did theater in high school, yeah. Yeah. and then I know he did a little bit uh, behind the scenes stuff with theater in, in Col- college, yeah. which... No, I just have so much more respect yeah. for you after that, dude. Thanks. Um, so, uh, went to back to I, you know, went as a casual guest, um, you know, off and on throughout the years. Never was never a super fan ever. Um, and then I was um, started going, like really started paying paying attention to the production level in two thousand seven, and I was like, whoa, this event's insane! Like the mm-hmm. The stuff that goes into it, the lighting, sound, the, 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 the people, the characters, the design, and it really turned me on to it. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. This is rad. Definitely. So, um, and then, you know, 2008, you know, same thing. This came as a guest because I want to see it again. So, it's like, in 2008, I was like, I need to work this event. Yeah. And so, um, 2009, <laughs> I came in 2009, uh, the day after auditions went happened and everything, and yeah, I want to come in, have you know, get a job, and they come in, oh, you're you're full already, what? Not full. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, cool. I'll come back <laughs> next year. And <laughs> so uh, I I I came back in 2010. And then I found out that they did a whole a camp out kind of thing, where you had to camp overnight to get a job. So I show up at you know twelve o'clock at night and get a whole camp out thing and <laughs> got a job. And um, it's not like that anymore, though. No, 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 not they, no. They, they finally streamlined their process, and now you're they do it multiple days. A lot don't better like, now. They do it like yeah. a couple days now, don't they? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they they give everyone kind of the opportunity. Yeah, to but no, it was yeah. Basically, it was two thousand 
eight, two thousand nine, it was like, yeah, I want to work this event because it's just the production level and everything else alone is awesome. I want to be a part of it. So did you yeah. start in a maze or did you all go to street? I off? started in a maze, two thousand ten, in Dia de los Muertos. Okay. Oh, nice. And that was a lot of fun. That was um, uh, it, it was a very a very good experience. Uh, a lot of fun. Had a um, built the built the uh, skills needed to scare people, and that's a very very important thing to have. Definitely. And so, um, yeah, that's all that. Now, what what other? So you mentioned skills. So what other skills would you say are you know an aspiring scare actor needs to have? Um, definitely reading people, like reading people, learning. Body language. Body language is huge. If you can read someone's body language, you know if that person's going to get scared or not. Um, eye contact is massive. It's a big deal. Eye contact is one of the scariest things you can do to someone yeah. because when you can get in their head and you're not going to... You can get in their head, never lose eye contact with that person. And... Um, it just it brings an uncomfortable uncomfortable level with someone they don't know. Definitely. Um, and um, yeah, um, eye contact and reading people and um, yeah, that pretty much. There's probably more, but I'm not thinking of it right now. Now I I, I do <laughs> I do remember we did have a couple of uh, people on Instagram who were are very curious of uh, your character because. Your character is actually a pretty major character now. I mean, it's it's kind of a staple at the event, I would say. Mm. Cause you're up there with a lot of the, you know, the, the popular characters like, you know, the bride, and I, I would well, say at least. I mean, I mean, the bride, Lucy Billy. I mean, when I think of this event, you're in that list of people. Wow. Well, at least me. I mean, because now that I now that I know the 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 the, Thanks, the person of Merrick, I I would. I mean, you and Hostel, probably are up there with them because. I would say without you two, I mean, it'd be a very different event. I can guarantee you that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That, that means a lot. Wow. Definitely. Um, a lot of these you've actually, we've been answering throughout the thing, which is really cool, but Hostel himself actually asked, what is your best moments with him? I mean, I know we've talked about some moments, but what are your favorite and best moments with him? My favorite moments with Hostel, man. Oh, my God. Pretty much every time we interact is my favorite moment because it it's so much fun just to interact with Hostel. Uh, but, oh man, the, probably our favorite, the best moment I remember is last season, the final night we had this epic argument. It went on for a good 10 minutes at <laughs> least. And uh, it was just... We had, and I don't know what it was about. I have no, I don't, I have no clue. But um, it, I just remember we having this and punching him with the thunder jug, and like just slamming him on the ground with the thunder jug, and having this, just arguments of uh, the mind and like how he uh, something. I don't know what it was, but like just was, know if it's you two, it's yes. it's got to be something good. It was the la it was the and, last night, and it was just it was just. I'll never forget that. That was uh, one of my favorite moments with him, definitely. We actually yeah. have him on the show tomorrow, too. So oh, no way. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Oh, that's so, rad. Uh, the way I, I, that wasn't even planned how we booked you two. It was like, he was like, okay, that, and then you got back to us, and then it was boom. So I was like, oh, dude, we get back to back? Like, that's going to be fun. Oh, definitely. Uh, next year, for sure, because right. I, know, I know for sure we're going to do this again next year, because it's, it's really doing really good. Um, have us in the same room together. Have, we, yeah. have you guys in the same room? Because <laughs> the stories together. We is could be great. do. Oh man, that'd be fucking epic. Yeah, I, I yeah. know if it's if it's you two. I mean, you guys would probably both be down for it. Hell yeah! I'm man. already gonna say that right now. Next year we're having Hostel America on the show again. That's gonna be, yeah. That's gonna be a fun one. Um, were you ever a slider? No, no, no. Did you ever want to be one, or do you just um, um, you were just old school? No. Um, well, in 2011, I wanted to be one. Okay. It, like I was like I wanted I want to be. Um, wanted to be a slider, uh, but I got injured. Okay. In 2012, working on a show, 
uh, over at um, Disney. I was working on a show and it got hurt. Okay. I tore my ACL working on the show. Oof. So, um, you know, I was, I, I don't want to risk killing my knee over that. Definitely. So, I don't want to do that. So, um, no. I, no. Not anymore, yeah. yeah no. I mean, there was that one, yeah. yeah. But, I, I mean, I think your character works without being a slider, to be honest. Like, you got that interaction of with the jug and everything. I think it just works without sliding yeah. and stuff, which is just, I think is an amazing thing. Um, One of our fans, uh, what is it? Long, we're long name. Or Gerardo Hernandez Jr. asked, uh, "Who is your who's your favorite character?" Now I know that's going to be a hard one to choose because there's every everyone out there is very talented, and I mean you probably have multiples, and you probably love them all for their own reasons. I, yeah, yeah, everyone out there, I love them all. Yeah, for the, my own personal reasons, they're all amazing. Definitely. Um, I personally do not have a favorite because I everyone's so unique in what they do. I don't blame you, yeah. man, because we've yeah. we've met so many great people this yeah. year, and I can even tell outside of who they are as scare actors, they're probably the nicest, oh, yeah. coolest people. Oh my god, yes. And I am yeah. very fortunate enough to have met so many scare actors at Knott's this year, so many freaking legends at Knott's this year, and just the lineup of people we have for this season, just for summer, or for the... Uh, for this character appreciation month, we are just fortunate enough to have such great talent. Yeah. Because everyone is unique in their own way. Everyone brings their own everyone. scare tactics. Mm -hmm. yep. Everyone has their own characters that are so so unique to the event. Some of them are actually staples to the event. But nonetheless, it's mm -hmm. it's been really an amazing season. And, we, and I can tell you this, because, you know, the characters you guys bring to the table, people... And a lot of people don't even know this, but people behind the scenes who you don't see out on stage. Oh, yeah. That, you know, all the blood, sweat, and tears that go into this event, building it, lighting, sound, you know, props, writing all the mazes, you know, the lores and stories of the overall event, you know, all the, all the mazes, all the freaking scare zones, you know, the shows... You know, even like the little things, like they have like a little, they had a little DJ out in freaking D or, um, yeah. Fiesta Village this year. Yep. I mean, everything that goes into this event is is just phenomenal. And we can personally say this from the Knights of Horror, we think this is the greatest fucking event in the world, hands down. And that's a lot to do with everyone who helped bring that to life from all the talent, from all the people behind the scenes. We fucking thank all of you. Yes, you know, for just yeah. making this one of the greatest fucking shows in the world. Awesome, because yeah. it's 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 truly something that me and this guy. I remember um, the what how this came together was we had already four characters that we knew. We wanted to bring them on just for an appreciation, but then I wanted to branch out and get to know more scare actors. So mm -hmm. then that's when I started meeting people, hitting them up on social media, and now it is what it is now. Yeah. And, yeah. When when we got you, it, it was kind of a shock because I was like, <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna get Merrick because Merrick, Merrick, you're Merrick, man. Yeah. It's like it's it's just it was awesome watching you work, and then on the last night, seeing you out there, seeing everybody out there on the very last night, just you know, knowing that everybody, this is it for the season. It's kind of bittersweet. That was uh, a very emotional night. I'll mm -hmm. tell you, man. Uh, every well, every not last night's emotional. But like for me, you know, because I put I put I put a lot into yeah. that character. I'm putting a lot into it, and um, you know, and I go very deep with it. Mm -hmm. It's a very deep thing, and um, it's not just you know putting. It's more putting. Um, personal stuff into it putting because it, it's it's therapeutic almost when yeah. you're when you're out it's like a when you're you're letting go of a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um when you're scaring people you when you're putting uh when you're designing the character when you when i'm out there you know getting in the character you're thinking about you know stuff yeah. you're thinking about personal stuff you're thinking about you're bringing so much into it and you're letting it go mm -hmm. And so when you let it go for the final time, it's really, it takes a toll, man. Like, yeah. yeah. 
And w- was there that that so that closing night when you knew that was kind of the it for the season? As you were out there in character, were you kind of like thinking like shit? It's almost coming to an end this season. No, nope. you're just straight into no, that character. No, I'm off. full on in the character, like, and just I. But I'm going extra hard. Like I'm yeah. going like I'm yeah, finished strong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. extra hard and and walking out the gate for the last time you are um like it took me at least 20 minutes to actually leave the character wow like i couldn't like you couldn't when you're backstage you don't really lose that mindset after doing what i'm doing for a little while definitely and that's actually something i was curious about because we've been it's been kind of a thing here um you and Hostel obviously are these characters on on the street. How hard is it for like when you guys go on breaks or like lunch or something to kind of get out of that character for like just a bit? Is it like you have to have a little cool down period when you get backstage where it's just like uh, I'm, I'm, back. Um, I'm back. Yeah, for me, I have a definitely cool down period. Yeah. Um. It. Uh. It. You know. It takes uh, about twenty minutes to just kind of really decompress. And, um, you know, I probably, people backstage probably think I'm weird because I, you know, <laughs> still kind of in the zone a little bit. Um, but, um, yeah, getting out of that, the mindset takes a little while and sometimes yeah. it takes a lot longer than usual and other times it's like, oh, I'm done. You're doing, so, you're going full blown method, man. Yeah. That's, that's how yeah. you got to do it, man. Yeah. Cause, the like Daniel Day Lewis. The Daniel Day Lewis, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like a- anyone who's ever played the Joker, I mean, for if you've heard set stories, people dive deep into that character mm. and people do some insane shit that they've never done before. Yeah. Listen yep. to stories of like what Heath Ledger did on the set, yep. oh, what yeah, Jack yeah. Nicholson yep. went through, what even not my favorite Joker, but Jared Leto. He went through some stuff as well. Um, I'm pretty sure Joaquin Phoenix did the same thing. Oh, yeah. Anyone who's ever yeah. taken on this role of the Joker have literally left who they were behind and literally embraced the Joker. And that really... It's, you can see a lot yeah. with that with Merrick. Yep. You, you, you leave your personal stuff behind and you embrace Merrick. Yep. And you go out there and you put out 110% every single night. Mm-hmm. Whether it be the slowest night of the season... Or the the most packed night of the season, you put you, that energy is there, mm-hmm. and we've seen it all season, and we've enjoyed it all season. It was literally bittersweet when it ended because now we're sitting here thinking, well, what are we gonna do from fucking Thursday to Sunday? <laughs> there's yeah. no, there's nothing yeah. for me to do anymore. Now I gotta just sit home and be a regular person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, when I when I went to Not Scary Farm, at least how I felt is I felt at home. I right. love I love horror so much and I love haunts so much that when I went to these events I felt at home. Yep. When I when I'd go to other events, it just wasn't the same as you know, like knots. I went to horror nights at least five times this season, but I went to knots twenty times this season. That's rad. That's due to the fact That's that awesome. I I didn't want to in my mindset I didn't want to miss a day because I felt like I was gonna miss something. Yeah. And that's the cool thing about knots is every night. There's those shenanigans sometimes, but there's, you know, you feel like you're going to miss part of the story if you miss a night, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what drove me to the event. That's what drove us to the event every yeah. weekend because we knew so many people. We didn't want to miss the story. And even, like, nights, like, when we went to other haunts or something, it just wasn't the same. Right. There was, like, you know, you go to a place like Horror Nights that, and, you know, they have, of course, you know, the movies and, you know, chainsaws and stuff. But me and this guy were looking for sliders and stuff. Right. And it's, like, yep, it's just yep. not the same it's, vibe, yeah, you know? Totally different vibe. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's what made Not Scary Farm our favorite haunt this season. It's probably going to be our favorite haunt going forward now because we had such a great time. I was even telling this guy, I think that next year I'm only going to Horror Nights opening and closing night because I want to <laughs> I want to go to yeah. freaking haunt uh, way sure. more this season. For yeah, sure. And uh, have a great time. But. Merrick, it has been honestly a pleasure, and I'm so glad you came by and and shared the madness that is Merrick. Because yeah, man. Um, all season we've just been asking our question like, who is this guy? You know, why is this guy? How is this guy? You know, all, <laughs> all the yeah. all the fun questions. Yeah. Um, do you want to plug anything in social media? Anything for anyone who wants to follow you? Uh, Instagram is GTS Merrick. Um... Yeah, I, yeah, GTS Mayor. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely follow a lot of the Ghost Town. Uh, pretty much all the Knots talent because week after week during the season they'll put like uh, week six starting rolling in the fog, 
you know, I, a lot of those posts that I always see that get me hyped up. I think this, like I said last night, the saddest one that uh, the saddest post that I've saw I seen was uh, Saturday and Sunday because they were all the goodbye posts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I posted and, uh, mine too. And so, yeah. um, one final question. Yeah, man. What is your favorite horror movie? Horror? Oh my god! There's so oh, many. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Um, horror movie, it, dude. It's a toss up between. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, The Shining, um, Exorcist. He's like the classics. Dude. Oh yeah, the classics the classics. Classics. you gotta love the classics. Oh yeah. uh, man, yeah, that's yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there you go. You got your Doctor Sleep tickets yet? Huh? Are you gonna go see Doctor Sleep? Yes. It's gonna be great. Isn't I it? can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. A sequel to The Shining, cause. From what I've heard, it's supposed to be a sequel to both, of course, the book and the Stanley Kubrick movie. So, ooh, okay, it's gonna be fun. He said he kept, of course, the lore of the Stanley Kubrick universe alive, but he, he introduced a little bit of stuff from the book, which just to kind of keep Stephen, awesome. Stephen's story alive I can't as wait well. To see that. Yeah, that comes out tomorrow. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Probably see it this Saturday or something. We'll see. Nice. Um, Merrick, again, it's been a pleasure, and we really appreciate you being on the show. You you're more more than welcome to come back anytime. Uh, definitely, we want to try to get you again next year. You and Hostel would be a good fun one. <laughs> definitely, man. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching Character Appreciation Month. It has been an amazing month so far. Tune in tomorrow for another one. Uh, tomorrow is Hostel. That's going to be a fun one as well. Um, make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Knights of Horror and at the Knights of Horror. Uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, for more content like this. And if you're feeling extra generous. Uh, Subscribe on Patreon to become uh, one of the tiers of the Madhouse. Uh, you know, you can be a certified member. You can be just an inmate. There's a lot. There's like five tiers. So go check them out, all the perks that come with it. We appreciate all you scare actors. Merrick, we appreciate you for giving us a kick-ass season. Um, thank you, everyone, who's been watching and supporting this. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.